coming to the fifth bit a fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator if 3 is added to both the numerator and the denominator it becomes 5 by 6 find the fraction so let us work out the solution for this problem let the fraction be x by y so according to the given problem if 2 is added to numerator as well as the denominator it becomes 9 by 11 so we can write x plus 2 divided by y plus 2 is equal to 9 by 11 uh, on cross multiplication we get 11 times of x plus 2 is equal to 9 times of y plus 2 this is equal to 11x plus 22 which is equal to 9y plus 9, 9 to 18 so rearranging the terms we get 11x minus 9y is equal to 18 minus 22 so 11x minus 9y is equal to 18 minus 22 is minus 4 so let this be equation number 1 and we have the second case is when 3 is added to the numerator and the denominator it becomes 5 by 6 so this becomes x plus 3 by y plus 3 is equal to 5 by 6 on cross multiplication we get 6 times of x plus 3 is equal to 5 times of y plus 3 so this implies 6 multiplied by x is 6x and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 this is equal to 5 times of y is 5y and 5 times of 3 is 15 that implies 6x and transposing 5y to left hand side we get minus 5y and transposing plus 18 to right hand side we get 15 minus 18 this implies 6x minus 5y is equal to 15 minus 18 is minus 3 therefore the second equation is 6x minus 5y is equal to minus 3 which is the second equation now the first equation can be written as 11x is equal to minus 4 plus 9y that is x is equal to minus 4 plus 9y divided by 11 so let us substitute the value of x in equation number 2 that is 6 times of x which is 6 times of minus 4 plus 9y divided by 11 minus 5y is equal to minus 3 now the LCM is 11 so 6 times of minus 4 plus 9 by minus 5 by multiplied by 11 is equal to minus 3 so 6 times of minus 4 is minus 24 plus 6 times of 9 by is 54 by minus 5 by multiplied by 11 is 55 by so 11 can be taken to right hand side this gives minus 3 multiplied by 11 so this is equal to minus 24 54 by minus 55 y is minus 5 and this is equal to minus 3 times of 11 is minus 33 so transposing minus 24 to right hand side we get minus y is equal to minus 33 plus 24 therefore minus y is equal to minus 33 plus 24 is minus 9 that gives y is equal to 9 so let us substitute the value of y in equation number 1 11x minus 9 times of y which is 9 is equal to minus 4 that implies 11x minus 81 is equal to minus 4 which gives 11x is equal to minus 4 plus 81 which is nothing but 
11 x is equal to 77 which is x is equal to 77 by 11 which is 7 therefore we found the value of x as 7 and the value of y is 9 hence the required fraction is equal to x by y which is nothing but 7 by 9 the required fraction is 7 by 9